baseball. It's America's favorite pastime, isn't it? We know all about the players out on the fields, but what about the strong, powerful women who hold their homes down? Woo! We're talking baseball wives, baby. And I've got two of them here, so let's get into it. Yeah, what's up for a nightcap? Chill, you know, kick back. Welcome to the Nightcap. It's your girl, Carolina Sanchez, and let's get to know these ladies, shall we? We've got Reagan Bregman in the building. Hello. Third baseman of the Houston Astros is lucky to be married to her. <laughs> and we've got Maria Hader, and pitcher Josh Hader is lucky to be married to you, darling. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank so you. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Yes. All right, well, I know people are curious about the boys, so we're going to get the boys out the way. Yes. <clears throat> How did you guys meet? Your husbands. This is a this is a fun one. This is a fun one. Um, <laughs> go first. So I'm originally from Corpus. Okay. And so I did an internship for the Corpus Christi Hooks. And he used to be with the Astros, and he was in the minor league team. He was with the Hooks, and so I was doing an internship for them. I was doing all the on-field stuff, mm. and we met in the tunnel. And then he slid That's in my cute. DMs on Twitter <gasps> in Spanish. On Twitter. In Spanish. Yeah. It wasn't all him though. On Twitter. Because then my so friend funny. later on, she was like, "It was me. I helped him." <gasps> I was like, "Yeah." Girl, I thought like... you were about to say your friend said he slid in her DMs no. too. No. Okay. <laughs> all right. No, because she was dating one of the guys on the team as well. Huh. And then yeah, that was 2015. And then he got traded a month later. So then we started dating because I was like, I can't get in trouble. Mm. No. Mm-hmm. And then that was it. We've been together for almost 10 years. What? I know. That's crazy. Wow. Wild. My, I was 19 when I met him. Wow. That is so crazy. Now I'm 29. I'm like, this yeah. is a little, you know, my entire life, my back. entire yes. 20s. Yeah, in, the yeah. so in the tunnel. Yeah. I love that. All right, wow. Reagan, what about you, boo? So we met actually through a mutual friend. Mm. It's kind of funny, but we, I, I was in College Station at the time celebrating my friend's graduation, and she convinced me to go into Houston, which I didn't really want to do. So mm. I was like, okay, sure, like, we'll go. So we end up going, and then I happened to go to Alex's house because we were picking up his roommate. And so I just kind of showed him at his house and I was there and he's like, where, like, where are you guys going? Like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, we're going to go to dinner. Like we're taking the, the friend. And he was like, I'll come. Like, I'm going to come. And I was like, okay. And like, we hit it off that night and started dating like a month later. At what point in his, in his career was he? This was after, this was like tw uh, late 2018, like almost 2019. Oh, wow. So, okay. it, so maybe it was, was 2019. 2019. Yeah. So he had already like won the world series, like all that stuff was kind of, over and done. I wasn't a big baseball. So you were like, who are you? Yeah, I literally texted my brother and I was like, hey, this guy <laughs> is like kind of hitting on me. I'm like, do you know who Alex Bregman is? And my brother's like, yeah, who doesn't? And then I was like, I, how did I, I didn't, I had no idea, but I was living in Austin and it wasn't as much like a baseball mm -hmm. uh, yeah. city, you city. know? So I didn't really pay that much attention to sports. And then it was actually, it worked out good, because I think it would have been weird if I knew who he was. Right. You know, like if I was, I already knew him. Yeah. So yeah. it was kind of nice. I feel like y'all met them at the right time. Yeah. I feel yeah. like I did. Yeah, I had no idea who he was. I met Alex, I think, at the right time for yeah. me. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Yeah. what's it like being a baseball wife? Because you hear about how being an athlete's wife, oh, it's so glamorous, everything is so amazing. <laughs> I see you rolling your <laughs> eyes, I buddy. Know. I see you rolling your eyes. <laughs> it is not. It's actually not as like hyped up as people think it actually mm. is. Maybe just baseball. I don't know about NFL, NBA, yeah, mm -hmm. all that other stuff. But baseball, like, it's 106. It is a long season. Yeah, yeah. And, like that's a lot of games. Yeah. yeah, I go to maybe one game a week. Yeah, wow. yeah. Seven. Well, as a closer, like closer's wife, I guess if you want to say it, he comes in the ninth, and that's if we're winning, mm. we're tied, mm -hmm. and it, it has to be winning by three runs. So I'm like, at that point, why? It's past bedtime. I'm not going. And with Lucas now. Anybody. Yeah. You know, it's not as fun. I yeah. like weekend games. Yeah. I like a routine. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, I'll do the weekend games. But they're not as, you know, it's not as glamorous. You're just kind of like, they wake up late. You do your whole day. <laughs> yeah. And then they're there. We have breakfast. And then they leave. You yeah. get to travel to a lot of fun places, which is nice. And, you know, live a very comfortable lifestyle. Right. Yeah. But it's not this, like. Super glamorous. Glamorous. Yeah. Yeah. And then when you're in the minor leagues, that's yeah. rough. Totally <laughs> you are yeah. in the trenches. Okay, yeah. You, yeah. In the tunnels. Yeah. And, you know, and the tunnels. Yes. fell in love. Yeah. You're when in he the... was in the minor, so it's real. Yeah, <laughs> they're like rooming with five other guys. There's beds in the living room. You're just trying to figure out when are we going to be when able to get up? When are we going to get our own house? Yeah, it's okay. like, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's wild. Okay. Yeah. 
Reagan, yeah, what about I you? I would have to agree <clears throat> completely. I feel like it can look kind of glamorous and it does look cool because you get to travel to so many fun places and especially the hype, I think, around the postseason and all yeah. that like mm -hmm. that. I love that. It's so fun. But the entire season, like she said, it's such a long season and it's it's a lot of hours away for them. So mm, I think yeah. that is a part that's just a challenge that I didn't even know how many games were in a baseball season until I met Alex and I was shocked there every day. And I have lots of friends that'll have weddings um, in the summer. Yeah. And we can't go to, I, I can go, but Alex can never go, right? Because he's literally working every day, pretty much. And we have a couple off days that are nice, but yeah. sometimes they're travel days. So it's definitely a little bit different than I think it looks like. Mm -hmm. um, and it is fun, can't lie, like it is fun. And it's cool to watch your significant other like live out their dream and like do all this cool stuff that so few people like get to do in their life. Right. But at the same time, it's not easy. For right. Because <laughs> I can't imagine, because you guys are both moms. Yeah. yeah. And you guys both have kids under two. Yes. So this is like yes. all hands on deck yeah. time right now when and you need a village to raise these yes. babies. That was, yeah. a, that was a whole different thing too. I think before, now looking back, it was so much easier. Yeah. It was just me. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'll travel anywhere. I'll yeah. go wherever. I'll go to New yeah. York. I'll be here this weekend, leave, come back, anything. Now with a, so my son, he's so young, it's harder to fly. It's harder to, you know, you got to like, like we you have to like, co yeah, coordinate where we're going to go in the city and find places to play. And like, you know, it's just very different mm -hmm. yeah. when you have them. It just changes the go by the ability <laughs> go freely wherever. Right. True. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to dive into you as individuals because yeah. we've been talking about the boys okay, and your kids, like, but okay. let's, uh, let's talk about y'all. Yeah. All right. Okay. You stay right there because my conversation with these baseball wives continues after the break. Welcome back to the Nightcap. I'm having a blast getting to know these wonderful ladies. We've got Reagan and Maria, who happen to be married to MLB players, but y'all are some badass women. So who are you? Like when you present yourself to the world, you're not married to Josh. You're not married to Alex. Who are you? Yeah, I think, I mean, for me, I've always loved working. I used to work at Google. Actually, when I met Alex, I was working at Google. So I've always loved that aspect of my life. Mm -hmm. And so I've tried to kind of keep that even through the whole baseball world, it's shifted completely in terms of like what I do now, but I have a couple businesses, I have my own jewelry line. So I, I focus on a lot of that stuff. And I think for me, like entrepreneurship and business, like that's a really big component in my life and something that I love. So oh, I kind of like keep that yours. up. It's yours. Yes, yes. And same with like health and fitness. Like I love, like, I love that stuff. So I feel like that's another thing that I'm super into outside of all the other stuff. And it's also something that kind of sometimes takes your mind off of all the craziness of baseball, the mm -hmm. highs and the lows. So it's nice to have something that's like yours that's separate from everything. Yeah. yeah. Separate from Major League Baseball. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Unfortunately, I worked in sports, so. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> you couldn't escape it. You're like, like oh, I'll I'll never, I'll never, never. I worked in sports. I but I, when I graduated college, I went and moved to Arizona, mm -hmm. and Josh followed me instead of me following him. Mm. But I worked with the Women's Golf Association, and so I did that, and then he wanted me to travel with him, but I was like, I will not travel with you unless I have a job, because I need to, I can't just be sitting around, yeah. you know, doing nothing. So I worked with the first tee in Wisconsin, because he was with the Brewers at that time. So I'd like worked in golf majority of my, all my whole life, actually. In college, I did the same. So, Really, it was hard when COVID happened. Pretty much everything stopped, yeah. you yeah. know. And then they didn't go to the to season until June, July. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Golf wasn't really doing anything. It was kids, so obviously they weren't doing anything. So then I stopped working at that time. Then I got pregnant the following year. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, if I do go back to, you know, golf, it's a year-round sport just like baseball. So we'd never see each other, yeah. which was yeah. hard. And what's your son going to do? Yeah, so right. it was kind of like, where are we going to live in Arizona? Are we going to be in Milwaukee or wherever? So that was kind of hard. So now I want to find a new venture. Yeah. Um, I love fashion, so oh. I love clothes. I yeah. love it all. So I'm like, maybe dabble into that. Yeah. I don't think I'd ever be like an influencer by any means. Cause I, don't, I, I just don't, I mean, it's, it's a whole, whole other, it's a whole other, other it is. it's a whole other stress, I, you know, like just the phone all the time out. I'm like, I have a, I, you yeah. know, a kid in front of me. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. but I want to dabble into that. I don't know how, but I'll find a way. Oh, we're going to find it, baby. Yeah. Okay. Let, so let's do it over of, some of these chips. Let's talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So you've got salsa that yes. you put out, baby. Yes, what I do. is this? This <clears throat> is wild soul. So. This is Alex and I's other baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we launched four new flavors recently. 
we worked really hard on the different flavor profiles. I'm really curious to see what you oh, think. Oh, girl, you I don't, can't don't you stress. I'm about to try them. Let's do All it. Right, so what's so we have our red salsas, which is the mild and the hot. And then we have verde and the mango habanero. Oh, so we going from, from mild to... Oh. Oh, I mean, I already sure love these sauces so much. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Thank you. So why? Salsa. That is fantastic. Thank you. So mm -hmm. salsa, Alex is from New Mexico mm. and I grew up in Houston. So we both love salsa. We both love Mexican food. And so one of the first oh, ideas so that good. we had was actually um, to do a salsa just because we both love it. And we were like, okay, Let's try to figure out some, and this that's kind of why we also launched Verde and Mango Habanero. We want to do something fun and different. And yeah. I feel like the salsa category has kind of remained like the same for a really long time. Yeah, so we wanted yeah. to come in and do something different. So I love tequila, and that's where the kind of blend comes together. Mm. And I love salsa too, but Alex really loves it. So like, let's combine like my love tequila and his love salsa. So one of them has mezcal and the rest have tequila and they're, it's all cooked out, so you're not like gonna get drunk. Damn it! <laughs> Eating the salsa. <laughs> Come on! I always have to tell people that and I usually it wait until too late because- It would be the best to be able because, to do both. Yeah. Okay, this, is, this is really my favorite. This one's your ultimate yeah. favorite? Yeah. I like it on like breakfast tacos, eggs, honestly like quesadilla, and any enchilada. of that stuff, so good. Oh, we did, no, that was the mango. Put enchiladas. the mango. Oh, you said baby. gelato. No, I said enchiladas. <laughs> no, yeah, enchiladas. What gelato, too? <laughs> so good. We did put Who the knows? mango habanero <laughs> over vanilla ice cream, and it was really good. Okay, well, I want to try it. Okay, mango the... habanero. Now, this is another favorite. This is another favorite. Yeah. Am I about to die? No, I think you're going to be okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have your water ready, because it is it's a little spicy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay, I'm gonna take a little sip of this. <laughs> Speaking of getting ready, um, we're gonna play a little game. Okay. All right, Y'all ready? Yeah, yep. let's do it. All right, listen, I'm gonna I'm prep them, so you stay right there, they're gonna get some practice in, and we'll get to the game coming up next. Yay. Welcome back to the Nightcap. I know I teased the game, but of course, Reagan said she could make a drink, and she's here to do what, baby? Back that glass up! All right, you made the margaritas earlier in the show. Yes. They all varied in flavor. They what did. What did you guys have? think of my margarita? I loved it. And you know, added some tequila. Yeah. I, second half, I was like, oh. Tequila. Yeah. Tequila. Thank you. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm just gonna eyeball it because that's what I do at home. Perfect. You know? This is your home. Okay. Come let's on. go. Yeah. Do do whatever you gotta Are do. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah. All right. We're gonna start with the rim. We're just gonna tahini the rim because that's my favorite. Yeah. All right. Well, speaking of rimming, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my God. Um, question for you, ladies, because I have a not the question we were prepared for. Um, <laughs> When it came to having the questions asked and answered about travel and these uh, Jersey chasing women, did you guys um, have that talk? I don't think Josh is stupid enough to do anything. Okay. Uh, you know, <laughs> he's not stupid. So, uh, no, it wasn't really an issue, I feel like. It wasn't even a conversation. No, I feel like if you do that, you know what's gonna happen and that's the end of it. Okay. Kind what of, about yeah. you? Did you guys have a conversation? Right we now? never had like an actual conversation. I mean, we did, but it wasn't like about anyone on the road or women or anything. Yeah. But it was just in general. But I just think it's a known thing, and I think when you trust and know your partner, yeah, really well, mm. you yeah. know, mm -hmm. and, you know. And I think a woman's intuition is so strong, very mm. strong. Yeah, I have a crazy strong. So yeah. <laughs> so don't quit so, it, Alex. Don't quit it. it. <laughs> Josh, you too, boo boo. Yeah. Okay, you yeah. ain't that stupid. She's that. Okay. <laughs> it's rimmed. We're adding ice, uh -huh. and I'm gonna start with tequila. And I'm using Flecha, which is the same tequila that is in our salsa. And it's really good. It is really it's good. Yeah, it's really good. really good. Well, yeah, because you used it in the first margaritas we had? I did, yes. Perfect. Oh, you really, you oh, really It's like that, so what does that mean? a healthy pour. <laughs> <laughs> to me, yeah, yeah, she's like, <laughs> two shots. Two shots, <laughs> all the way to the top. Okay, uh -huh. then we just kind of eyeball them to make sure they're all the same. Around the sun. No, that one I didn't want too much. Okay. So, so what is the relationship um, between baseball wives? Like, do you all get it along? It depends. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. But it depends. It's nice to have someone that gets what you're going through. Mm, you know, like yeah. I think that's a big thing that people don't talk about. Like, it's 
it's very rare to find someone that really gets it and like understands the travel schedule and the fact that you can't go to weddings like I told you just like the lifestyle mm -hmm. I think that's a great like community to have but also I mean you kind of find your close friends and your people yeah so, and baseball players get treated all the time that's what no one talks about yeah. right like, they're always so that's what I was gonna say like yeah. you can right. move all the time like you just came okay. from Padres territory right yeah so we we're in Milwaukee for five years got traded at the deadline to San Diego, we were there for a year and a half, and then he became a free agent. Then we signed here. So, but he's been traded before he was in Baltimore. He got drafted by the Orioles, because he's from Baltimore, then got traded to the Astros, then got traded to Milwaukee, then San Diego. This sounds <laughs> so fun. Yeah. This sounds like I'm traveling all the time. Yeah. I never know when I'm gonna get uprooted. <laughs> like, do you know for sure that you're gonna be here for a while, or can yeah. you be traded at any point? Well, we signed for five years, no trade clause. We for that reason, too, like, so we, we are lucky that we know. Yeah, pretty, like, that you're definitely not. But, well, yeah, we, yeah. But in but yeah. this <laughs> league, like, it's possible it's, yes. to move it, yeah. constantly, a lot. often. Yeah. So and building a tribe, like, does the MLB help you like build a tribe, or do you just have to meet the wives and husbands? <laughs> like, yeah, I feel yeah. like you kind of just meet. Yeah. We actually met through a mutual friend when we were living in Arizona this off season, and mm -hmm. Maria. We met through somebody because they just signed with Houston, and we were both in Arizona at the same time. Yeah. So we're like, and let's we lived go in Arizona, dinner, so and then we met. brought our sons. Yeah. Yeah. And then bada bing, bada boom. Yeah. That was it. Oh, perfect. Well, once we so saw well. them play together right outside the restaurant, I was like, they're gonna be friends. Yeah. It was so cute. We have yeah, this boys, very long story. Oh, okay. So it's, now we're gonna stir. There we wow. Go. It's yeah. almost like Carolina's um, making <laughs> this cocktail. This is what I do. Listen, we just act like we like to eyeball it, and then we do a taste test, and then we'll add. See what's missing. Whatever we need, you know. They look kind of good. I'm not gonna. They lie. look good, but we gonna be the judge of that. Yeah. Right? You guys yeah. are the judge. Are you gonna taste it? Oh yeah, I taste it first. It. Well, Let's see. it doesn't matter if you taste it first. Mm. I need a little more tequila. I swear. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Right? A little more tequila. A little bit. How in the world does it need more tequila? Oh. Oh. Girl. No. <laughs> Not <What>? this one. <laughs> well, I'm glad you have a drink in your hand because we're going to need it for the game we play next. Yeah. All right, we're going to play Swing or Miss coming up next. Welcome back to the Nightcap. I've been having a blast with Maria Hayder and Reagan Bregman, and it's time for Game, game Night. night. Woo! All right, ladies, we're going to play Swing or miss? Let's do it. Swing means you're gonna answer the question. Miss <coughs> means you're gonna take a drink instead. Alrighty. All right. We're gonna start with start with the softball. Okay. Have you ever fallen asleep during a game? Always. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many games. So yeah. Oh yeah. On yeah. the couch. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's a seven ten game. Yeah. I'm in bed by nine on a reg, so yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, here it is. Here it is, like <laughs> yeah. easy. And you guys have babies. Yeah. That was a thing too, yeah. When yeah. I had Knox, oh my god, I was going to bed. Whenever. I yeah. <laughs> All right. Number two. Does your family support the Houston Astros? Oh my god, yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, to an oh, extreme. Yeah. Oh, to an extreme. Yeah. Oh, you're from Houston. Yeah. That's true. And from Corpus. Corpus. So, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Easy peasy. <laughs> Is there crying in baseball? Yes. Yeah. Oh my God, you guys are bit. swinging on all of these. What is happening? Y'all are probably going to go for a grand slam at some point. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, we're on third. Is there sex before a game? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, no. Okay. All right. So, oh, okay. We've gotten home. They've all gotten home, but we got some bonus questions to see if you really are going to win the game. Have you had sex at a ballpark? No. No, I think it would get like arrested. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. All right, no. made, made us untouched, ladies no. and gentlemen. No. All right, last question. Got to make this baseball-y. On your first date, mm -hmm. what base did y'all get? Zero. We, we made it to home. You made it to home, baby! <laughs> you just scored a run. All right, y'all won. I love it. Thank y'all so much for playing. Y'all gotta come back. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, oh this was fun. Latte. Yeah. yeah, I'm oh, coming we, back. We're gonna have a wonderful girl chat. And yeah. you gotta make me a latte. I will. Yeah. All right, <laughs> cheers to you. You cheer on these Houston Astros, okay? And cheer on the strong, beautiful, badass women behind those men you like to watch, all right? We'll see you guys next time. Missed out on the nightcap? Well, head on over to our YouTube page and catch up with Carolina. You can watch full episodes anytime you want. And don't forget to share it with your friends because we got to keep the conversation flowing. If you're confident in yourself, who can stop it? Ding dong, titties. We're not looking to hurt the sisters. Gotcha. But, you know, we can get men pretty big. Why do I look this good? No. Also, fellas, the toy is not your enemy. It's your teammate. Tag it in. Join us weeknights on Fox 26 at 1130 and anytime on Fox Soul.